Hi, good evening. Recently I did a video about refillable one pound propane bottles and uh, adapters used to refill them and it's it's called the Flame King one pound bottle refill kit versus the Mr. Heater, Heater refill adapter and I put it out about a week and a half ago and it really only got about 397 views. Um, I thought it was a pretty good video. Um, I guess maybe there's not that many people out there interested in this kind of thing. But uh, but anyways, um, what caught my attention was a comment that a, one of the viewers put in the comment section. And I really needed to address it. Because in my video, I showed a, uh, a Coleman disposable bottle and explain to never try to refill these things. Uh, for one, they're only made for one-time use. Their construction is not sub substantial enough to withstand being refilled multiple times. Uh, they can rupture. Um, they're, they're not DOT approved. You can be fined up to a half a million dollars and be put in prison if you're caught refilling these and transporting them in a motor vehicle. If you don't believe me, look it up yourself. What I'm going to do is, first, to get this out of the way, I'm going to read the the label on the back. And excuse me, the lighting's not really great in here. Under handling and storage, number four, it says never refill the cylinder. Refilling may cause explosion. Federal law forbids transportation if refilled. Penalty up to $500,000 fine and five years imprisonment. Um, there's a reason why they impose, you know, that they... Why well, the penalty so stiff? It's because they're not safe to refill. Um, the uh, the comment in the comment that I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna read it here. And this comment was from at Jeffrey Fine seventy four seventy four one hour ago, and he says to me, "They are refillable." There's many, many, many videos of people refilling those, so do not say they're not refillable. They are. Sure, you can refill them. You want to take the risk. Do you want to take the risk of refilling one and putting it in your car and if something bad happens and you survive it and they find one of these in your car, do, do you really want to face that kind of a five years of imprisonment and up to a half a million dollar fine? Doesn't make sense. Uh, just recently... Right here in the state of Pennsylvania, not far from here, a hunter had a uh, portable propane heater in a tree stand with him, and he wasn't using it right, and it burst into flames, and he burnt to death. He couldn't escape it. Now, there's one thing to read the label on a pillow that says, do not remove this label, and, or... or in lieu of penalty of law or whatever it is. And then there's one thing to read a label on a propane bottle and ignore it. 
And I have a refillable bottle here that's empty. This is a Flame King refillable one pound bottle. And it has the uh, DOT approved stamp on it. It's made for being re refilled. And you can refill it as many times as you want, as long as it doesn't become damaged. This, no. One time, get rid of it. It's not worth the risk. And just to give you a uh, demonstration in the difference in the construction, I brought my scale here, and I'm going to weigh an empty Flame King bottle, and I'm going to compare it to a full Coleman disposable bottle. Here we have our empty Flame King bottle. It's weighing in at one and seven and a half ounces. About one and a half. Actually, no. Correct me on that. I'm going to correct correct myself. Excuse me. I'm very tired. It's that was one and a half pounds. It's one and a half pounds. This is a full Coleman bottle, disposable bottle. It's one pound, almost 12 ounces. So they're almost the same weight. The full Coleman bottle is almost the same weight, or is the, the empty Flame King bottle was almost the same weight as the full Coleman bottle, okay? That's because there's more steel in this, okay? It's constructed better. It's made for being refilled. This isn't. Um, hi there. I don't know why that's so hard. Uh, excuse me. For people to get their heads wrapped around that. Um, trying to tell me, uh, it, you know, I'm wrong. Over an issue like this, uh, because I'm telling you, it, 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 you're dealing with a compressed gas, a gas that's been compressed into a liquid. And when it's exposed to the atmosphere, it boils off into a, um, into a vapor. And in order to get that vapor to be compressed into a liquid, it has to be under extreme pressure. If this thing ruptures, there's no way you're going to escape what's going to happen okay you just don't have time to react and the results are going to be devastating so please um i just find it amazing that you know in places like youtube and facebook you know they want to fight disinformation it all has to do with politics and you know the kind of disinformation some people want to put out there is it's okay to do something that's inherently unsafe i mean really inherently unsafe and um so please if you're going to refill propane bottles do it safely and check your your local your state and your federal laws storm safely don't keep them indoors in your living space or in an enclosed area store them at the right temperature because as the ambient temperature rises so does the pressure inside these bottles i mean that's just a matter of uh, that's just the laws of physics and i couldn't change it if i could change the laws of physics believe me i wouldn't be sitting here doing this video um so yeah you know just sometimes when people leave comments it just makes me think that either stupid people shouldn't breed or we should just let natural selection take its course what do you think charlie hmm? but for the most part i do like people i like making my videos and i like reading the comment sections it's just some of them are really 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 stupid sometimes and I really got to uh, I got to say there's there's what I call the idiot brigade out there and 
You know, I thought I was not that bright. Wow. Uh, <laughs> whew. Anyhow, it's Saturday evening, and it's the day before New Year's Eve, and I just wanted to get that made clear that Disposable one-pound bottles, don't refill them. Don't be a cheapskate. Go out and get the ones that are refillable. Okay? It just may save your life or somebody else's life, preventing an accident. They're not that expensive, and it's just an ounce of prevention is worth more than a pound of cure. And, you know, Benjamin Franklin made that statement back in the uh, 18th century when he was introducing the idea of the volunteer fire departments in Philadelphia because he was copying that model from the city of Boston. And he said an ounce of prevention is worth more than a pound of cure. And in this case, it's, it's worth more than a propane bottle blowing up in your face. So... Yeah. Please stop leaving stupid comments in the comment sections on my videos, please. It makes my head hurt. And with that, have a good night and a happy new year and be safe. And be kind to one another. It just seems like when people get behind a keyboard and they don't have to talk to people face to face, they can just become the most belligerent, ugliest people on the face of the earth. And um, it just, it's just disgusting. I mean, it's just, who wants to listen to that? Who wants to deal with it? I mean, but anyways, enough of my ranting. So everybody have a good night.